I love you. You're beautiful, I love you. You're pretty like a day. When it's cloudy, you like sunshine. You take the clouds away. You make me happy. Instead of sad, you make me feel good. Instead of bad, I love you, baby. I love you, baby. All right. I want to get through a lot of information for you quickly. We are on this side, just this side, of the next major evolutionary period in human history. We're it. We're the change. We're the delineation mark. Us, our children, the world will be different. Kinda gotta be, right? I'm gonna show you something that is mind-boggling and it's true. And please click the share button. Get your friends to see this. Okay, so when I don't do a video for a bunch of days, so many things happen. Oh, man. North Korea cannot be allowed to have nuclear weapons. Talk about giving a kid a match stick. Don't let him play with matches. Cannot let Kim Jong-un play with nuclear weapons. Hurricanes. I was just through Irma. The Keys, if you've ever been to Key West or any of the Keys, good. Because they're never going to be the same. The keys are beautiful. They're gone. Man-made buildings in a hurricane are blown away. But nature, a hurricane just blows through and then it's a pretty day. These super storms are because of global warming. I live in Miami and I love Miami. And I'd like Miami to exist and not become Atlantis, the lost city, which I hear is right here off Miami, and I believe that. In St. Louis, they're rioting over the cop that got acquitted over killing that black man and that cop planted that gun and chose a jury of a judge, not a jury of his peers. Oh. But that black kid almost ran over the police and took them on a high-speed chase and oh, man wasn't quite like the cop who shot the black guy in the back. There's riots in St. Louis right now. Third, fourth night this will be. My point is, when there was a hurricane, black, white, 
Democrat, Republican, didn't matter. You just saved the people who were drowning. And that's empathy. That's true love. That's the best of us. Saving people, no matter who they are, because they're drowning and their homes are drowning in water. That was beautiful. Put that right up against hate, speech, killings in St. Louis, riots, hate. Let me tell you something about judging. People say don't judge. You judge. Everyone judges every second. Human consciousness judges. It's not about judging. It's about acceptance. Big difference. <laughs> you judge everything. You know what's right and wrong. You can feel people when they're right and when they're wrong. And right is when you're loving. Wrong is when you're hurtful. It's very simple. Okay, something I really want to show you. This is going to blow your mind, it's visual. It blew my mind. I love this. I love you. And your life, the most important thing is in your life that you're happy and that you stay happy. Okay, now what I'm about to show you Oh, first, please, if you can, please, please PayPal me money. Honestly, I have $8 till pretty much the end of the month, and I kind of need money. So if you have some and can send me some, please send something to weedmanhippie at gmail.com. I love you. Okay. What I'm about to show you is human experience with God. I'm going to show you a clip from DMT, the God Molecule. What you're about to see are a bunch of people who have in a hospital on the controlled circumstances being shot up with DMT and listen to their stories. Watch the visual because this is God you're seeing. Our true experience of God. Watch. <sighs> and this was reliable. This is like clockwork. This happened every time that you, that you shot me up with DMT. And then there'd be a hum. A hum. And the hum would get louder and louder. And to the point where it broke apart everything that I was or knew. Wow. It was just this. Watch this. Watch this. It just got louder and louder until you just had to surrender to the sound. And then you were there. I would get a warm this is another feeling, man. a golden feeling in my chest before it went to my head. Look at him. I Watch feel what you see him. Rod, about an inch and a half Look how straight this man is. Growing up inside my central channel. Look at that picture. It would come up and Look sort of slow, guy. warm up my chest, go up through my head, and slow down and put tremendous pressure in my sinuses behind my eyes, and slow down, start to grow and extend the skin behind my forehead about one inch behind my hairline and when it had I was afraid it was going to pop my skin a few times because it was a very physical feeling about an inch and a half two inches above my skull when it popped through there bang it's like an electric bang I thought I died I saw the white clouds uh, you know the uh, renaissance white fluffy clouds with the gods and the angels and all that stuff is what I saw. I thought I was dying and going out, but I did take a quick look at Cindy and a quick look at Rick because I had my eyes open and they were both there watching, looking very calm. I go, oh, that's really good news. My body looks fine.
so I didn't know whether it was my birth I was re-experiencing, my death which was yet to come because I, I know that time crumbles, the linearity time of time crumbles. is totally meaningless in these states. You are at the Godhead, the Godhead. where all time folds in on itself. More and more layers of my humanity start peeling off. Finally, the last, you know, the almost the last layer, and I can't even describe what it is, but you have, at some reaches way in there, there is like the last layer of that which you, which defines you as a human being. Defines you as a human being. You are no longer a human being. In fact, you're no longer anything you can identify. There is Listen, no look at concept her. of time. Look it at her. so disoriented. Look how straight she is. I was so terrified. I have never in my entire life been so terrified to be blasted out of my body. Out of her body. my body behind. To be going at warp speed backwards through my own DNA out the other end into the universe. Bang! Wow. So I went right into this white light. As soon as I went into it, I lost any sense of being different, any sense of what I was doing, past, any sense of future. Uh, it was absolutely blissful. Bliss. Euphoric. And Euphoric. I just felt like it wasn't I. I was everything. I, I was, was everything. There was no sense of separation, no shadows, no differences, no past, no future, it was all present and white yellow light. Then I felt myself falling out of this light and as I fell out of it, I could feel the light was like a glow, like the sun with flames coming out and lapping out and I could already start to feel this tremendous separation. I reached across and it was suddenly I'm in the universe in this huge void with these beings on the other side and I put out my hands and this incredible rainbow of pink light went between me and these entities. Wow. And I was trying to make it be like a white light, but it was this incredible pink light, this energy of love that we, this capacity of love that we as human beings have that I was trying to just send to them. This meteor-like trip through through the infinite space of the interior consciousness. I love this guy. Up pops the picture puzzle pattern door. Look at this guy. And I'm now whizzing through this sucker like if it was nothing. It just I'm flying through. <laughs> but now I know what the picture puzzle pattern door is. The picture puzzle pattern door is the farthest reaches of your humanity. This is the doorway into the what defines you as a human being. When you go past that, you stop being human to a degree. And the further you get past this point, the further away you go from being a human being. But right here, this picture puzzle pattern door is everything. It's everything. It's what defines you as a human being. This is your, this picture puzzle pattern door is you. This is like the actual core of where all of reality is emanating from. This is where meaning comes from. Symbols were pouring out. They were intertwined. Every symbol or and letter and in every language was pouring out. Look how smart this, this guy is. And I looked around at my environment and I was trying to absorb everything to understand but there were all of these what a small ladies machines ladies. or structures or things that that I had never seen before that I had no idea what they were I was like a caveman in a computer lab I didn't have any idea but I knew in my intellectual awareness that this was a very advanced civilization or life forms or, or whatever they were they they were so far advanced from from what we know here on earth there's one state of in it i call it the the hobby horses and they're interlocking 
reticulating, uh, vibrating hobby horses. And I use that, that's what they seem like to me. They interlock and they form a, a visual pattern that seems infinite in scape. And then you're on the inside, outside, inside, every side. And so it's less possible to use, um, you know, words start to start to escape you. The texture of the space was very much like an animated Mexican tile. <laughs> Hyper vivid in color, in the technicolor sense, but also very... Look, I love you. What these people just experienced is spiritual and real. DMT, the God Molecule. That's what that was from. <sighs> the people who are still stuck in the hurricane, in floods, whose homes and neighborhoods are wrecked. The moment the hurricane hit, there was no more going to work in the morning. There was no cell phone. There was no Wi-Fi. There was no television. I was living in the Stone Age. And the people that are in Texas flooded, I fortunately didn't flood. My point is the people who did flood, that moment their lives became completely different. Cave people, Stone Age, it's the Stone Age life. My point is, We, that could happen to us. We have to make sure that Kim Jong-un does not have nuclear weapons. We have to consciously focus on changing the world. And for you personally, the best way for you to help is to be happy and loving to everyone. We are made of God. God is all there is. All that is, is made of God. There is nothing that is not God. We are made of God. We are each other. Love each other every second. Learn from your dog. Dogs are so happy. Dogs don't need to have something to do to be happy. Dogs can be outside, just hang out and like, look at that, look at that, and they're happy. My dog taught me how to be happy. Doing nothing. Please. Be happy. Don't let people bait you into anger, argument. You know the people who have anger energy or want to fight with you. Don't say one word back. Don't encourage. Don't let that conversation continue. End it. Only be around people you love and make you feel good. And strangers you meet, please love them, be kind to them, intend to have a loving, godly interaction with them. Make your daily life 
godly. So you have so many experiences. At the end of the day, what was your day? was filled with just pleasant, loving experience. Because the truth is, when it's over, if the world were to blow up, things don't matter. Love matters. You are not your body. That's what that movie, DMT, the God Molecule, is telling you. I got to tell you, I smoked salvia one time. It is also, it is not a recreational drug. You take one big hit of salvia and boom, I was in another universe. I'm not joking. My body was in the room. I was gone, but I was alert. I was with my family that was dead. And I was totally aware and interactive in another universe. We live in a multiverse, not a universe. Time is simultaneous. All your reincarnational selves are being lived right now. You mingle with them and interact with them while you sleep. We are telepathic by nature. Our telepathy is coming to the forefront and our technology, these cell phones, are teaching us gently that we are telepathic until we can just be telepathic without the device. And teleportation is coming soon. Wait till we have teleportation, how that changes the world. Please send me money. If you have some money, I don't. You can send me a few dollars. It's a loving thing for you to do. Sending me money, me asking you for money, is an opportunity for you to do something godly and nice for another human being who is telling you straight up, I've got $8 and I need some money and I got no food stamps for a couple of weeks. I love you. Pay me some money. You're beautiful, I love you. You're pretty like the day. When it's cloudy, you're like sunshine. You take the clouds away. You make me happy. Instead of sad, you make me feel good. Instead of bad, I love you, baby. I love you, baby. Be happy, I love you.